you wanna do something that's new and it seems really really hard to do you feel like quitting you feel you're through well i have some advice for you don't Ooh. give up keep on we find the mass of the red weight using the spring lab so this is the spring lab and we're trying to find the mass of this red red weight using the 50 gram and the 100 gram and we're going to attach it to these springs, these three springs. So the first step is to attach this spring to the spring, no, this weight to spring three. Mass, not weight. The mass, yeah. So since the, since the spring started off with being at this line of equilibrium, we're gonna take this weight this um this ruler we're gonna take it and measure what was the what was the total displacement of the of the mass so from the start from the very very top to here it's 30. this is xf and this is xi so basically what we got to do is we have to find the difference so we're going to step one is going to be x is equal to xf minus xi and then x we're just going to plug in so it's going to be 60 centimeters minus 30 centimeters and then x is equal to 30 centimeters and then to, to get into meters we gotta multiply it by 10 raised to the raised to the power of 2 so x is equal to 0.3 meters that's step one so um we're going to take the 50 gram weight and then we're going to attach it to spring one. So. so just like how we did with this, we're going to have to find the force of this, the single weight. So what we're gonna do is step through, so step two. We're gonna use the force equation. Force equals e is equal to mass times acceleration. So we, are, so we already know the mass of that one. So we're gonna write 50 where the m goes, 50 grams times acceleration, which is because of gravity, it's 10 meters per second squared. So, to get to get 50 grams into kilograms, which is the SI unit, we have to use the formula kangaroo helps dog because dog can't multiply. So, since grams is the base of the weight, then we have to move it up. One, two, and three decimal places. So basically, draw the lines. And 50 grams. Raise it, and then you're gonna you're gonna move the decimal place one more over. So it's gonna be five grams. Five it's not no longer gram, so just five. Okay, there's five, and it's going to be 0.5, and then finally it's going to be 0 0.05. So take this, and then force is equal to no, sorry, zero point zero five kilograms times 10 meters per second squared and then 
by multiplying it by 10, we're going to get um, 0.5 newtons. This kilograms times meters per second squared is the force, which is just 5.5 newtons. So that is the, the force acting on the 50 gram weight. Okay. So they use the 100 gram too and find the force of that, how we did with the 50 gram. So now we see that 100 grams is going to be a little bit more than 50 grams. So, so step three. It's going to be the same steps as step two, but it's just going to be with the 100 grams. So F is equal to MA. And this is going to be force two, since we already found force one. So F sub two is equal to the mass, which is 100 grams, times the acceleration, which is also 10, because Gravity is always the same. So this one we gotta find as well. So you already know the conversion, so so the base is grams, and that's maybe a hundred. Then once you move it up you lose a zero. So it's gonna be ten. Now one, and then it's going to be 0.1. So F is equal to 0.1 grams. Kilogram. Kilograms times 10 meters per second squared. And now force two is equal to one Newton. So the force acting on the 100 gram weight is just one Newton. We're going to find the relationship between the force and the displacement. So since we know that force and displacement are proportional, then know that so because of the equation force is equal to kx that the slope of the line between the force and the displacement is just going to be k so since we know the forces of these two already we just have to find the displacement so the displacement of of the 50 gram is going to be x1 and for the, the displacement of the 100 gram weight is going to be x2 okay so this spring by using the the weights that we already know so the 50 gram and 100 gram is what we already know but we just don't know which one's this so that's why we're solving right now so we're going to find the displacement between this weight and this weight. So we're going to use the, the ruler and we're going to measure this 50 gram one first. And so it starts off at 30 and it ends at 35. So basically what we're going to do in step five, so the displacement of one of the first spring, which is the 50 gram weight spring, is going to be 35 centimeters minus 30 centimeters. Since we know the displacement, and the displacement between these two is five centimeters. So now we got to convert centimeters to, to meters and that's going to become, so centimeters is here. And if we move it up one, two, 
then the decimals gets moved twice, so it's going to be 0 0.05 meters. So now, step six. We're going to revisit which is this 100 gram weight, and we gotta use the ruler to find the displacement in this as well, so. Another thing that I forgot to mention earlier was that this, this position over here is going to be Xi, and wherever this wherever this spring is it's going to be x2 so 30 is the is where it where it's initially at and it's at 40 the second for the after the weight is applied so we're going to find the displacement of the second spring is x xi which is no, xf which is 40 centimeters minus 30 centimeters so x2 oh whoops x2 is going to be 10 centimeters and they get moved two decimal places again so which is going to be 0 0.1 so x2, which is this displacement of the second spring, is going to be 0.1 meters. All right. So to find the weight of this, to find the mass of this um, weight, so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna for step seven. We're gonna use some of the some of uh, our algebra skills from freshman year if you guys remember the slope of uh, the slope equation is m is equal to x2 y2 minus y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so in the context of this problem the the mass I mean, the, um, what is this? The K. The, oh, the, M would be the, K. M would be the K. So, it's just, just the M, which is the slope. And the Y, the Y value would be F. And the X would be just the X. So, basically what we're going to do is, uh, K is equal to, F2 minus F1 over X2 minus X1. So K is going to be, so F2 was over here. F2 is just one Newton. So one N minus F1, which was 0.5 Newton. All over x2, x2, which was 0.1 meter, minus x1, which is 0 0.05 meter. So in the end, we're going to get 0.5. Over point zero five. And that's that's step seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So point five newtons over point zero five um, meters is just going to be ten newtons over meters. So the slope of k is going to be ten newtons over meters. So now, in step seven, we're going to use 
8. Step 8, we're going to use the equation that is used to find the, all of these. So, in step, we're going to, you're going to use f is equal to kx. So, since the force we already found was 0.5. No, we're going to find the force. Oh, we're going to find the force. Okay. So force is equal to, we plug K in, which is 10 newtons over meters. Then we're going to use displacement. All right, 0.3. Which is 0.3. Take this one. We found it earlier, and we're going to plug it in over here. So, point 0.3 meters, and F is equal to... Meter, meter, cancel. Yeah, meter, meter, cancel. And then what ends up happening is you get 3 newtons. So, force is equal to 3 newtons. Is it? We're going to find this mass. So we're going to find exactly how much grams this is. So in step nine, we're going to use Newton's second law, which is force is equal to mass times acceleration. So since we already know the force of, of this of this whole whole graph, then we're going we need to find the mass. This is what we're trying to find with that with that um, with that weight. So we're trying to find the mass of that. And we already know the acceleration because of gravity. So we have to set this whole equation equal to m. And to do that, we're going to just write M is equal to F over A. So we don't know that we're solving for the mass, but we already know the, the force and the acceleration. So force is just three new newtons over acceleration, which is 10 meters per second squared. And mass is going to be three times three divided by ten which is point three kilogram kilograms and right, so point three kilograms it doesn't really tell us much because in the context of the problems everything is in grams you see every everything is in grams so to find this in grams, we, do have, we just have to convert it. So this is the last and final step. So we're going to start, since um, it's in kilograms, it's on the top. So it's 0.3 kilograms. And once we go up, we must come down. So we got to come down to the base, right? So when you go down on, on this, this um, abbreviation, we're going to... We're going to have to gain zeros, so 0.3 becomes just 3, and then that's going to become 30, and then finally we get 300 grams. So the weight of this is just going to be 300 grams. You wanna do something that's new And it seems really, really hard to do You feel like quitting, you feel you're through Well I have some advice for you, don't give up Keep 